Hi friends! I was asked many times what kind of generator was used in the video about winding of the high voltage transformer. I used a simple push-pull oscillator circuit, or the so-called ZVS driver. It is also often used in amateur structures of induction heaters. This scheme is so popular that there is lots of Chinese production. Below the video there are several references to buy ready modules. There are several variants of the scheme. We consider the case with the average point of the coil. In my opinion, it's a bit more stable than two chokes without a midpoint. In fact, it is a resonant converter, which was built as auto generator. Here, each arm of the circuit must be treated as a separate oscillator. The optimum power supply voltage is 20 volts, although worked from 3.5 volts. Power supply should be sufficient to trigger the FATs. I used the end channel IRFZ44. Choke is taken from a computer at AX power supply. Core is made from iron powder. Gate resistors have two functions. They simultaneously limit the gate current and the current of the Zener diodes. The Zener prevents voltage increase through gate and protects FAT from breakdown. They maintain a stable operating voltage. Although experience shows that when powered from a stable source of 20 volts, no need for Zener. The transformer primary winding is connected in parallel with the capacitor to form a resonant circuit. By changing the parameters of these components, the working frequency of the generator can be changed. As I have said before, this scheme often used for constructing simple induction heaters, although it is not an optimal due to the absence of the scheme for FAT's regulation. And good oscillator, large currents flow through the circuit and capacitor is also operates in hard conditions. Particularly if the circuit is used as an induction heater, i.e. if the core is absent or it is not closed, therefore I advise you to use battery of capacitors connected in parallel with the total capacity of 1 to 4.7 microfarads and voltage of 630 to 1600 volts. Optimally is 1000 volts. Practice shows that 400 volts not enough. In the case of the capacitor bank, all should have the same capacity and voltage. Simple but powerful high voltage generator can be constructed on the basis of this driver and the TV flyback transformer. At free part of the core, do 2 at 5 or 2 at 6 turns of wire with a diameter of 0.8 mm. I advise to use stranded copper wire with silicone insulation. If you use a flyback transformer from an old TV, be sure to fill additional resin on high voltage winding, otherwise the transformer will burn. Now let's look to device capability. As the power supply, I use screwdriver's 18V nickel cadmium battery. In the next video, we examine the pros and cons of this scheme. In some of the next videos, we examine the pros and cons of this scheme, its limits. And we will assemble Tesla transformer. All additional information can be found under the video. If you liked, please press like and share with friends on social networks. This will support the channel and author. Thanks for watching.